When Moses Sanger was a young boy, he lived near a huge forest in Western Kenya. After seeking his fortune abroad, he returned home one day to discover his younger sister skipping school, not to play, but to collect firewood for cooking. The nearby woodland had been decimated by the local population who cut down the trees for fuel. Moses immediately quit his job and invested all of his savings in developing an alternative fuel, biochar. Now biochar is simply converting biomass into a powder called char that could work as an organic fertilizer, but it can also be compressed into fuel. And the fuel burns as good as charcoal from wood. One third of Uganda's tree cover has disappeared in the last two decades. Environmentalists warn that unless things change quickly, much of the forest will disappear within 40 years. People invade the forest, they clear them, they cut them down, uproot them, they devastate the entire biological diversity with impunity. Since starting up EcoFuel Africa in 2009, Moses has seen the project take off. One and a half thousand farmers have invested in a kiln. They cost around $60. They are able to quickly recoup their investment by selling the fuel it produces. It works by turning organic waste like sugarcane into charcoal, which can then be used for cooking. It saves the forest and a few dollars too. I used to use a sack of normal charcoal every day, which cost 30,000 Ugandan shillings. But with the biocharcoal, I only spend 25,000, so I save 5,000 shillings every day. Three and a half thousand families are buying biochar on a regular basis, a small but important step in stopping deforestation. Moses now hopes to get 40 million people using it and even wants to replenish the forests by planting quarter of a billion trees by 2020. And with his fuel, he has the energy to make it happen.